Okay, in this segment we have what you might have thought was scrap, but actually we're going to make two uh, concentric donut rings out of this that are going to look like this. And uh, I'm going to show you how I cut that out um, from our scrap. We just started, I started uh, with our, our table mount here. And then we took an eyeball. The, our, uh, our, our screw there, our 16th screw, and uh, then <clears throat> to line that back up uh, in your in your list of things that you needed to get, you have some quarter inch screws, and since I I was using a, a quarter inch uh, end mill, those work really well for truing that back up. Even though it doesn't have to be all that precise, it just needs to clear the rotor because uh, our, our our whole turbine is going to drop through this. This this is going to be the top of your of your turbine, and uh, and uh, the whole thing will drop inside from the top here. Um, we're going to start by <clears throat> fastening down the four corners. of our piece that we're going to cut here. Well, we have to squeeze that screw it up. Okay. And we do need to fasten all four corners because <laughs> those will break loose. Um, each corner will. Um, why it may not be a a major issue. And we also need to pin it on the inside of the ring as well. And make sure that that clears. Okay, now we can take these all out and have our piece set and ready to go. And we're going to hook up our router again. This time we're going to calculate for our distance to be um, just a hair under two feet. Uh, the, the drawings show two feet, and if you can get it exactly two feet, that would be great. Um, the, uh, the, the, the main thing is you're going to want to clean up around the edges on the, uh, on your, on your board. They're, they're rarely cut exactly two feet unless you know you cut it yourself. Again, eye protection, hearing protection, and we're going to cut it. Can we plug this in?
There's your, there's your part, and we're going to need two of those. We are going to laminate these together, like so, just for strength. Originally, uh, I had cut this part out of a, a half-inch piece of plywood, and uh, as it turns out, uh, we don't need to do that. We can just use the, uh, the material we have, and we don't have to buy that extra piece of wood. Okay, so we'll see you in the next segment, and... Uh, Get yourself ready.